Alexa, ask Robot Scout to patrol. Sorry, I don't know that, but you have asked my buddy enabled. Do you want to open Alexa, ask Robot Scout to turn left. Sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, show my scout's camera. So finally, we got this Scout robot by a company called Mobot. As you know, this was available to crowdfunding on the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, so finally, I managed to receive it. So apologies for the late delivery, by the way, there has been a problem with the international parcel force. But anyhow, uh, it's a quite a minimalistic Apple-like package that you can see here. Uh, on the back side, it says monitoring from afar. So I presume when you got the app, you'll be able to monitor your home while you're traveling abroad and so, so on. Um, it works with Google and Alexa. Many devices did promise that it's gonna work with Google and Alexa, but I think uh, many companies fail to do so because that's still on the process. So we'll find that out. It has a pet rec uh, companion uh, function. So we don't have any pets. So probably we'll try to use our daughter, baby daughter to see whether they can actually avoid. Um, robotics educational and development platform, which is for coding, I believe. So you can actually customize it, which is really good. That's very good for any robots to have. Actually, that means that you can customize it on your own. Um, autonomous patrol 24 seven. So those are the main five key features that you can see. And the rest is pretty much uh, the uh, explanation about the robot. But what immediately is quite interesting is that it sort of have the cousin look of the vector robot here. And what is most impressive is the wheel structure itself. I know that this wheel system can, you can actually vertically, um, horizontally and vertically just move like a plus and minus kind of symbol like and so on. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, so let's get into the unboxing. Here it goes. You're gonna come in knife again. Brilliant. So one slash fresh. I love fresh stuff. Voila. So first one is the card it says, let's get started. So that's what you're going to get. So pause and have a look. And that's pretty much it. Wow. Look at that. That is quite a chunk. I have to say. Um, so if we were to compare with Vector, you can see that it's much bigger than Vector. I like the fact that it has a more bot on the top and on the back, it seems to have some sort of like a speaker and a reset. The wheel seems a bit clumsy. It's a bit loosened kind of feel when you actually try out the individual uh, wheels, but it's kind of cool. It kind of looks like those um, spider look. So I don't think many women will actually like it, but at the front, it seems to have this sort of sensor um, and also the monitor face, should we say, same as Vector. So if we get rid of the seal, you can see there's a big camera inside the actual face and there's three sort of indicator of light. On the bottom side, we got the charging connection there. I presume this is where you can access to all the machinery and the battery mainly. Um, and I just love it. It's a very good weight. It's just that sound. It kind of brings the value down, but then again, it has to be that way. Um, but overall, very good. Um, and then, if you were to go to the remaining side of the box. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, this doesn't look like it is, but it is actually, in fact, the regular charging dock for the more bot, so that will actually go here and then it will charge and that will be connected by the USB-C plug here, okay? And um, so it comes with the USB-C. So this is not a sticker that you stick on the floor, but an extra pad uh, to give you a grip. So, so you can imagine over the time, this could actually get worn, get worn out. So you actually replace it with another one. And then lastly, we got the lubricant for the wheels so you got to apply this to the wheel because i'm sure over the time because of your dirty manky floor uh, it's going to gather dust 
and it's gonna actually cause a bit of a grip on it. But surely, because of the shape of the design of the wheel, it's gonna actually go way further than uh, Vector, because Vector, you can see that it, the way how it's designed is only limited in a certain distance, while as this one, you could travel around quite a distance actually. And I, what I didn't notice is the power button there. And the other side, we've got this sort of um, symbol indicating I think this is a router connection uh, light and that's the mobile phone or so on. All right, so the app is all installed. So on the top left hand side, you can see my ID and also the uh, next one is the photo image. So if you click on that, that's basically all the archives of your photo, either on your local library that will be stored on your um, mobile phone and the cloud library, which will be on online. If you go back, that will be the message. Actually, someone sent you a message or emails or stuff like that. Um, on the top right, it shows that the symbol of that is connected to my mobile phone and Wi-Fi at the same time and the Wi-Fi signal is on and the battery. So if you click on the gear, it's actually connected. And um, the interesting thing about it is that it's already connected to my Amazon Alexa, okay? So Alexa, so these are the commands, for example, Alexa asks Robot Scout to patrol. And what I was really hoping for is Vector will be able to, because it has an Alexa, to be able to command um, Scout, which will be a really good feature. But yeah, indeed. Um, I think the Amazon Alexa feature on the Vector is not a full um, Alexa function, if you see what I mean. So that's a bit of an unfortunate circumstance at the moment. But the skill is actually registered under these commands. So the ones that I'm going to read it out to you, it says that you can ask Scout to patrol, uh, turn left or right, I presume, and camera as well. So we look forward to that update. Um, video. You can change the video settings on resolution to 720p to um, 1080p, anti-flickering, night vision as well. I'm going to put that in auto. Um, night vision, sensitivity, low, high, uh, record, um, file duration, maximum five minutes, bit rate, display, um, and, and baseline color as well. So control-wise, you can actually control the sensitivity and movement sensitivity as well and uh, the file visual initial uh, or mentory. I don't know what that means actually. So, um, and then the cloud, you could basically uh, set your own cloud in here, privacy and also the system as well. So you could you choose the time zone, sound effect on off, uh, speaker volume, uh, detect siren effect as well. I'm gonna turn that off actually, because that could be quite loud. Um, firmware version, uh, you can update, which this has been updated hardware version and etc. So that's how it works on the main feature. So if we go to the monitor, um, this is quite cool actually. So you can see myself um, here. Okay. It's because we've got a camera. So we can see myself there. Yeah. Because of the camera there. And um, you can actually control Scout as well. So if we were to zoom out a bit, um, so if I could turn left, that's how you control Scout. And then if I go, oh gosh. By the way, Scout doesn't have the edge protection because this is, so edge detection, because it's supposed to be on the floor all the time. And then you can turn left and right by pressing that one as well. Okay, that's how it works. And this one is quite cool. It will automatically go to the charging dock. So you can actually command that and it will automatically go to the charging dock, okay? I think it's detecting something. Oh, here it goes. So it can detect the charging dock in red and it's about to make a move to the charging dock. Okay, you can see that red, but you've got to make sure this charging dock is right against the edge um, against the wall otherwise it will wobble so it will struggle to charge if you see what I mean so make sure the charging dock is actually budding against the wall so now we found the target you can see that the red detection there and please go to your charging dock that's so that's how it's charged okay if you actually press the mic button there I can actually say bring me some tea can you hear that 
bring me some tea and then if I were to press uh, that one you can actually hear what's going on the other end as well so I could tell my wife to um, prepare dinner by saying prepare my dinner I want my dinner now now if you go to the um, patrol mode obviously you get this um, you can set up a new path you title it and so on so I wouldn't want to go to detail on that but I'm sure you will be straightforward on that one uh, the next one is the program so if you actually um, register yourself there's all these program that is customized there were two initially or three um, and then someone actually else customize it you'll be able to download their um, features as well but just to show you these are the coding that we can show so system you know all these codings and so on so system media motion um, smart and all these things there's tons that you could actually go in but i'm not sure why we have maths here anyhow um, there's list and variables as well so you could create variables as well that's really interesting so regards to the night vision side if you were to test it uh, so we only have one uh, light left so if i turn it off there you go um, scout will still be able to see in a complete darkness so that is quite impressive well done for that so you can see scout actually has uh, three red lights on that's basically saying that it has detected the night vision and um, that's why we're getting the um, black and white uh, night vision from its cleverness so well done mobot for that so scout robot by mobot quite rightly how it's called uh, it's designed to scout around your home and detect your pet and also use able to record uh, sounds and also uh, you'll be able to speak through mobile as well so you can ask your wife to prepare dinner or get you tea or <laughs> etc what I'm really excited about is the coding side uh, there's so many things that you could customize but because I'm not really good at coding which I need really need to learn for a guy like me um, you can actually download some other people's uh, community skills and share it with other people if you think it's useful uh, but because i'm the early obtainer of this product at the moment there doesn't seem to be much skills that i could download from the community but i look forward to that to uh, grow the community to grow um, but the app itself and the way how it's packaged the mobile is pretty straightforward I love it it's like it, you immediately feel like it's not that difficult to play around with this robot my slight concern is that when I actually touch the top of the mobile where it says on the logo there seems to be a bit of a heat on it I don't know whether that is normal or not um, but slight concern of the fire risk and so on if you see what I mean my um, the biggest disappointment which probably I'm not getting it right please do tell me if I get it wrong is that uh, as I predicted even though on the box on the back hand side it says it works with Google and Alexa I couldn't find the uh, Google feature for mobile at the moment so someone could help if someone could help me to locate that um, on the Alexa side I was really excited to use it with vector uh, to voice command because they could almost become a best pal if you see what I mean but at the moment I, what the feeling I get is that the Alexa feature on uh, vector is not a full Alexa um, so I don't know whether DDL will be able to help us to get more of those sort of skills to interact with more bots but overall um, I love the quality only the wheel how it sort of moves around it kind of feels the small wheels within a wheels feels kind of cheap but then again that's how it's supposed to be designed to move around you know left and right and the maneuver is really good um, and the weight is really good and I just love the fact that this will be a scout robot always there that I'll be able to monitor what's going on in my house and etc so I hope this video uh, gave you a bit of an insight on what this robot is about but if you have any queries please do comment below and especially if someone could really help me on how I could voice command vector to be able to control voice control robot that would be really appreciated so thank you very much for watching this video this is LZP Tech all the best bye bye